Hello, friends and fans of Utah Trikes. Welcome back to the shop. Feels good to say that. It's, it's been a while, as you all know. We apologize for the lack of content. To say that we've been busy is a serious, gross understatement. In the last few months, we've shipped out hundreds of trikes, started building the revised version of a recumbent side-by-side, -side, the Yumi. More on that later. And we've officially started production of Jerry Rig Everything's Not a Wheelchair, which is an electric quad that you may have already seen on the internet. We'll give you more information on that in some upcoming videos. Before our YouTube hiatus, again, we apologize, we had hinted at having a thousand watt motor that uses a torque sensor. We received a lot of emails from you all asking about the specifics and wondering if you could potentially have one installed on your trike. We actually sold six of these systems before we even had them in stock, which is awesome. Today, I'm happy to announce you'll be seeing a sneak peek of that monstrosity of a motor. It's amazing. We put it on a Fat Cat 4 Quad and it is everything we had hoped for. I know you all have a hundred questions concerning the Bafang Ultra. Questions will be answered. That video is coming. Today, you can see it in action on our highlight build, Mary's UT Custom Fat Cat 4 Quad. This is a build you'll likely recognize as it's reminiscent of the Hot Rod Quad we featured a few months ago. The smaller 20 inch fat wheels in the front paired with the 26 inch fat wheels in the rear give this quad a drag racing aesthetic that warrants a second look from just about everybody you ride by. Our first Fat Cat 4 quad was built using the Cat Trike Villager as a platform. We've also built a few quads using the full suspension Cat Trike Dumont. The quad we're looking at today is built off of the Cat Trike Expedition, one of our top selling trikes. The Expedition uses Cat Trike's space frame design and has a seat angle of 37 degrees. Comes stock with a headrest, locking brake levers, a rear view mirror, Cat Trike wrist rests, and powerful Avid BB7 disc brakes. This quad uses direct steering, and Cat Trike's impressive steering geometry makes for a sporty, responsive ride that handles well at high speeds. to convert trikes to these four-wheeled machines are fabricated in-house. We designed an adapter that allows us to use the existing dropouts of the Expedition and bolt on the new rear end. Everything about this rear end is custom. We weld the cage, mill out and laid the axles, and assemble the posi traction differential that allows the rear wheels to spin independently of each other. This helps reduce wear on your tires while you're cornering. The stock Fat Cat Quad matches the standard Cat Trike gearing configuration. Triple crank in the front paired with a 10 speed cassette in the back for 30 speed gearing. Our customer decided to upgrade the rear gearing to a roll off 14 speed internally geared hub which has a 540% gear ratio. What does this mean? It means lower low gears so you can tackle any hill and higher high gears 
for more top end speed. The roll off can be shifted while stopped or coasting, unlike standard cassette and derailleur setups, which require that you be pedaling while you shift so you don't damage anything. With everything being internal, the roll-off is an all-weather gearing solution that will last for thousands of miles. All it needs is an annual oil change and $1,600 because that's how much the upgrade costs. It's the price you pay for German engineering. If that seems like a bit too much money to dish out, we can also install a NuVinci N380 internal hub, which has a smaller gear range and is only a quarter of the cost. Moving on to the upgrade you have all been waiting for, the Bafang Ultra. Like I stated in the beginning, this is not an official review of the motor. That video is coming shortly. What we can tell you is that this is the most powerful motor we've installed on any of our trikes or quads. What sets it apart from the standard 1000 watt buffet is its use of a torque sensor as opposed to using a cadence sensor. The torque sensor, which you'll find on systems like the Shimano E-Steps as well as the Bosch E-Cat, measures how hard you are pedaling. It feels a little bit more natural and more consistent than a cadence sensor, which measures essentially if you are pedaling or not. Like the original Bafang system, the Ultra has nine levels of pedal assist, as well as a throttle. It's a feature that people love. The display and controls look a little bit different, but they're just as easy to use. We've already installed this motor on a number of trikes, and we've been very pleased with this performance. I know some of you are losing it over Lewis's burnout. You're like, ah, oh, don't do that. Never fear. We changed the tires before we shipped this out. The stock Fat Cat 4 comes with 26 inch fat tires all around. This quad has the 20 by three inch Kenda flames in the front and a 26 by four inch tire in the back. The Kenda tires are a bit more suited to riding on the pavement, but the tread on the rear tires makes this quad a fairly capable off-road machine as well. It'll tackle dirt, grass, and gravel, no problem. Deep snow and sand would require a tire with a more aggressive tread, and you'd need to run them at a lower PSI for better traction. If you're thinking about a quad, remember that this is just one configuration. There are so many options when it comes to customizing your Fat Cat 4. You can browse our website, see what other customers have done. Maybe they will inspire your quad build. Some of our most popular upgrades include the horizontal handlebar conversion, rear disc brakes, and our UT Custom Super Headrest. If the Bafang Ultra seems like a little too much power, you can always go with the 500 or the 750 watt Bafang. Keep in mind, those both use cadence sensors. If your heart is set on a motor with a torque sensor, Bafang Ultra. Or you could also choose the Bosch E-Cat, a 250 watt motor that delivers smooth and consistent pedal assist, although it doesn't quite compare with the Bafang systems in terms of power output. Keep an eye out for our next video where we will dive into all of the juicy details of the Bafang Ultra. We'll go over all the things we love about it, the few things we wish maybe were a little different, and what you need to know in order to decide whether or not it's the motor for you. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you're glad we're back on YouTube. Woo! Drop us a comment and let us know which videos you'd still like to see. There is so much that's going to be happening over the next few months. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you in the next video.
because it's incredible. It's really all there is to it. It's, Lewis shaved his face. That was, that was something. It's awesome. It's a powerhouse. It's amazing. Hey, no, quick, come back. They haven't met you yet, Jose. Really exciting things are happening here. I'm not gonna give you all of, you know, the surprise. I, I want there to be some, some form of surprise when these things start happening. So I'm not gonna tell you all of the fun things. Some of you already know. Like if you're a person who's been to our shop, you probably already know the exciting things that are happening, but I'm not gonna spill the beans. So see you in the next one, probably. <laughs>